Hey everybody, Seth with Everyman Prepping here. And today, Sunday, I want to go through some quick stories with you. I had some extra time today before I go out and head out and start doing some more prepping stuff. I figured I'd hit a few headlines with you since I just sat down to look at it myself. So without further ado, let's just check out what, what I saw this morning. This is kind of an update on the two missing uh, Navy SEALs off the coast of Somalia. Say it has nothing to do with the operation going on against Yemen. Who knows if it really does or doesn't. Uh, the word is that the SEALs were conducting a shipboarding operation. Uh, they thought there was, there was a vessel that, that was um, shipping arms from Iran to Yemen, and they were going to board it to try to take it over. Bad weather. Uh, Navy SEAL was thrown overboard. Another SEAL, SEAL jumped in to save them. Both are lost, still trying to find them. That's the official story from the government right now. It's tragic to lose sail, SEALs like that or any service member. Um, but, you know, I'm still wondering if that's the, the true story of what's going on. We don't know. They, you know, they're out there doing their covert black ops. But that's what we're being told so far. Like it says here in the article, you can see from Zero Hedge, the missing SEALs fell into the water during a nighttime boarding mission on Thursday. Still gone. This is a file photo. That's not the actual photo. It says here, the SEALs were on an interdiction mission, the officer said, on condition of anonymity, of course. When one of them fell off, a sh off the ship after uh, high waves hit the vessel, prompting another SEAL to go after him to attempt a rescue. It's a you know, vast ocean out there. I don't know if they're going to find him or not. Um, I don't know if they have beacons or anything on them when that, something like that happens. But So we'll, we'll see if this happens. It's very curious on the story. I'd like to follow it to see. Maybe we can you know find the service people or not. But... A lot of stuff going on in that region. You got more missile attacks today going into Yemen. Yemen's still saying that they're going to fight back and do something. They haven't yet. Been waiting for them to do something. We'll see if they actually do. Uh, but then, of course, you have this thing happening at the same time. It makes me kind of wonder if they are linked, even though they said they're not. We shall see. Let's go on to the next story here. And this is a pretty big news coming out of Ukraine and Russia. Also, please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. But preliminary reports are coming out that... Russia basically lost what they consider one of their AWACS, kind of like our way AWACS. This is a plane that looks like this. Well, then again, they said it could be this one. Either way, it's one of these type of planes that went down uh, in the Baltic uh, Sea area. And it's what it is, you know, it's a radar, a command control, um, you know, lead fire missions from there. It's that type of plane, you know, intel gathering. Uh, it went down along with another plane. That'd be a pretty big loss for Russia because, you know, these things... You know, countries don't have a ton of these. You know, I think Russia has like between six and eight of these. I think they've lost one earlier. And if they lose another one, pretty big hit. Um, you know, another feather in the cap for Ukraine if they did it. But we'll follow this story as it goes along as well. From the, Moving on from there, just today, just a few minutes before I, you know, started this video. One of the reasons I want to get this out there is North Korea saying that, that they test fired another solid fueled ballistic intercontinental missile. And this one carried a hypersonic maneuverable glide vehicle on it. That's basically terms for the fact that, uh, and this is what, it, this isn't it. This is what they look like as a concept drawing. But, you know, a hypersonic glide missile is what you put a nuclear weapon on, you know, and it glides around, it's maneuverable, avoids uh, being shot done and down. It's what you carry nuclear warheads on for either EMP or direct strike. So uh, just like that, I put up on my uh, X post, you know, I believe 100% Russia or China gave them, you know, this hypersonic glide vehicle. Uh, they, I can't believe they did it on their own. They do have their own ICBMs, but I believe they give to this to North Korea so they can fire it off, show South Korea, the United States, the West. Look what North Korea can do now. They even have hypersonic glide vehicles. Now, remember, the United States doesn't have these yet themselves. We're behind. And, you know, now North Korea has access to them. Yeah, it's a big intimidation factor, you know, uh, you know, slap in the face to South Korea and the U.S. So I think that's what's going on here. It's a big uh, one-upsmanship that they're playing right now. Also, if you notice this other photo, this is King John Il here, the leader of North Korea. This is his daughter. Don't know her name right now. I probably should know. I don't. But she's been tagging along with him everywhere, sitting right next to him. Everybody says she's going to be the next leader. Not sure why it wouldn't be his, you know, the sister of Kim Jong Il. You know, she does a lot now. I don't know why it wouldn't be her. But people are saying it's going to be his daughter. I mean, she's young. And he's relatively young for a you know, a dictator really in that country. So, but that's who this picture is in case you're wondering. That's his daughter. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have this high octane speculation. This came out, this is a post I put up, in fact, that uh, build.de, it's a news website in Germany, basically, but they're they're known for putting stories out there. It might not be 100% true, uh, kind of tabloidish. So I don't know if I really believe much of this. They're saying that 
The German army is preparing for an attack by Putin. Tens of thousands of German soldiers will be deployed. I can't see Russia going, you know, bypassing Poland, going straight into Germany right now. They're still handling Ukraine. So uh, if you see this and you hear this going on, I don't know if I get too concerned about that. So I wanted to point that out. Then we have Shadows coming out with this. Shadows does a lot of stuff on X with the uh, tracking radar, tracking, tracking flights. So he's good to follow if you like doing that. But according to him, an American nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the George Washington, has just taken off from Norfolk, Virginia. So where's it headed? Is it going to go uh, to the Middle East? Is it going to fall around and go all the way to China? I don't know. Uh, you know, it's got to circumvent the Panama Canal or, you know, get over there to China somehow. It's, you know, it's on the East Coast right now. So we'll see where it ends up going, but could lead to something else. And then finally, I want to leave you with this here. This came out from the, the moon lander. You know, we launched a, uh, we didn't, we, but the United States had a private company launch a, a, uh, a rover for the moon. And something happened, it failed, got a fuel leak, so it's not going to be able to land. Uh, you know, all these problems we have going to the moon, but, you know, remember 1969 through 72, no problem. We got like tons of guys on that moon. But anyway, I, I digress. This is a shot from the camera that's on that, that vehicle that it can still take pictures. And, you know, it started off here, and they're like, hey, what's this thing by this crater? And it's like this spike. And, you know, this guy zoomed in, and there's a plateau, a spike, and a shadow. Everybody's like, what is this? I'm going to let you guys decide what you think this is. So uh, I just found this very curious uh, out there. I have no idea myself. figured I'd just throw it out there to the community, write in the comments below what you think is going on the moon there with that picture. Also, anything else you want to write a comment on? But hopefully today's Sunday, out there with the family, doing some prepping. Get ready. If you're in the cold areas and you haven't watched my video, I'll put a link to it in the description as well in the comment. Uh, watch my video. Stay warm. Take all those precautions. Do everything you can. Uh, uh, I put a post up also on X that Alberta already put, sent out a message to all their and you know uh, customers out there in Canada that hey cut off on electricity because if you don't we're gonna start rolling blackouts right now I think it's like 11 or 12 degrees I have a buddy in Texas and you know it's that cold out there and we know what happened last time it got really cold there so if you're in the area where the cold weather is which is most of the United States take precautions check out the video and till next time keep your ear to the ground and head on a swivel.